So today we're going to have a look at an example of solving a separable differential equation dy dx equal to 2x divided by 1 plus x squared times y. And in this differential equation y is the dependent variable or unknown function that we're solving for and x is the independent variable. And if this is separable we need to be able to get it in the form g of y times dy dx equal to f of x. So looking at the above equation, to get it in this form, we need to multiply both sides by y to give us y times dy dx equal to 2x divided by 1 plus x squared. So the next step in solving such a separable DE is to integrate both sides with respect to x, which in this case will give us the integral of y times dy dx with respect to x equal to the integral of 2x divided by 1 plus x squared dx. And it can be proved that this part here, dy dx dx, actually can just be rewritten as dy so that we have the integral of y dy is equal to the integral of 2x divided by 1 plus x squared dx. Evaluating these integrals the one on the left hand side is fairly straightforward that will just give us y squared divided by 2 plus a constant c1. However you can see that the right hand side looks a little bit more complicated and I'm going to start just by rearranging an expression a bit algebraically to rewrite it as 1 divided by 1 plus x squared times 2x dx. And integration of this type is best solved using substitution. So here I'm going to let u be equal to 1 plus x squared. And from there, if we then work out du dx, that's equal to 2x. And so with our substitution we want to be able to rewrite the integral on the right hand side in terms of u and du. And we can write du is equal to 2x dx which then shows us that our integral on the right hand side can be replaced by the integral of 1 on u du. So that our de that we've integrated we're now going to have this in the form y squared divided by 2 plus c1 equals the integral of 1 over u du. And when we now anti-differentiate the right hand side that gives us y squared on 2 plus c1 that's still there is equal to ln modulus u plus c. And we can now bring back u equals x squared plus 1 I'll call that c2 let's say, y squared on 2 plus c1 equals ln of modulus 1 plus x squared plus c2. And finally we want to make y the subject. Now a couple of things to note here, we could start by subtracting c1 from both sides to get ln modulus 1 plus x squared plus c2 minus c1. But this is just another arbitrary constant, isn't it? A constant minus a constant, so I'll just rewrite that as c. So y squared divided by 2 equals ln modulus 1 plus x squared plus c. And finally we can multiply both sides by 2 to get a solution of the form y squared equal to 2 ln modulus 1 plus x squared plus a constant k where k is equal to 2c. And so this would be the solution of our differential equation.